It still feels weird. Gyro is now off. Can confirm. It still feels weird nonetheless. That got weird. Okay. Well, we're just killing people we're not even looking at now. But that's already performing better with Gyro off, which is kind of nuts. Well, in today's video, we're doing something that I... Well, I mean, I planned to do it, but I didn't think I'd actually get away with doing it. Uh, we are going to be cheating on Steam Deck. So, in the second camera footage, you can see here, I've got my Steam Deck loaded up. Nothing fancy, just the 64 gig version uh, that I got recently. Uh, and today, we're going to be turning this into a cheating device. There's two ways to do it, like I said. One way is the way I'm going to show you in this video. And then the easiest way to do it is going to be in another video. But for now, this seems to be the easiest and most streamlined way to do this. So we are going to hop right into it. Let's get cheating on the Steam Deck. Oh, by the way, this video is uh, thanks to Anuria because Anuria is probably the easiest thing to use on this thing. Hard drive loaded, duh. Lost, double encoded, what? Zip up all your drink, compress it. Steam Deck right. loaded up with uh, Counter-Strike running, and we are currently getting 59 FPS, which is completely normal. Uh, we are running in 720p for the Steam Deck, and uh, you guys can actually see over here in the other image, uh, this is what my camera sees. So, we're going to hop into a game of Deathmatch, uh, and we're going to try out just straight playing CSGO, just to make sure everything's running good. Uh, and if we can confirm that everything is running good, we should be able to just uh, inject an area and start having a great time. Uh, gyro is just on by default, which is going to make it a little bit harder to use aimbot and stuff like that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So we're going to choose CT. And as you can see, when you move left and right, that's just kind of how she goes. So this is just normal CSGO. Is that an enemy? So you can see gyro is kind of... It's a bit, it's a bit odd. Um, but we are going to just continue to play here. Uh, just to get like a feel for everything and see how that goes so we know it's working uh gyro is going to be an issue for sure uh which could impede on the way if you're trying to cheat that it's going to work the way you want it to see i want to use gyro in that situation but it, it's it's kind of hard so let's open up our buy menu our rifles Rifles and then M4 and then let go. Terrorists just walked right past us. Sense is way too high for a gamepad. I believe you can also use the mouse pad here, which is even cooler. Uh, so you don't even have to use the thumbstick. You're just like, it's it's obviously not as smooth as the thumbstick would be. Definitely not as smooth as the thumbstick. Alright, well, I think I think that's enough. I think we've seen enough. It's time for the big test. So, in order to actually get Inuria to work, uh, we're going to hit the Steam button on the Steam Deck here. We're going to go into the game and go to Controller Settings. In Controller Settings, we got the in-game controls, which are right here. And you're going to hit Controller Settings. You're going to go to down here. You can see Gyro Camera, Sensitivity, all that kind of stuff. We're going to go to Edit the uh, Back Buttons. So, for... R4, we have toggle crouch. We are going to hit, uh, we're going to hit that. We're going to go all the way over to keyboard and we're going to hit insert. Once that's done, we should be able to open and close Nuria with, uh, R4. Sometimes it doesn't want to work and you actually have to go and change the in-game settings. So we can hit the steam button again at the top, go to in-game and go to, for example, deathmatch, which we can do by going straight here, deathmatch layer. Hit A on that, and then as you can see here, R4 is the insert key, which will be one of the buttons on the back of the Steam Deck. So, we're going to hit B really quickly. We're going to go back into a deathmatch. Hit Go, and we should be good to go. Again, if you want a full tutorial on all the ways to use CSGO cheats on this thing, let me know because as you can see, we're still on Linux, but we are using Inuria. And there is a way to do this where you don't even have to be on your home network. There's also a way to install Windows on this device, and doing that will make sure that you can use this anytime you want. We're going to hit CT again, but this time, there you go. As promised, I do believe I have to use, I have to pause, go into the in-game menu here, hit that bad boy, go semi, load, and then we've got a new map loading up. But there you go, we've got the semi-config loaded. Okay. 
Okay, so now we can go here to rifles, SSG08, and then let go. Perfect. Now we just walk around with this bad boy. Jesus Christ. Again, gyro, gyro, whatever you want to call it, is going to is gonna mess with it quite a bit. I've got to keep it a buck with you. Uh, so until you disable that in the settings, this is kind of your, your best bet. Definitely want to up our hit chance. I think we have our Your settings grenade. optimized. We can try this now. There we go. That's one. The enemy is okay, perfect. I just had to optimize our settings. They weren't very optimal, if that makes any sense. I mean, I guess if you just held corners like this, you'd be fine. <laughs> I mean, there you go. As long as you're holding corners and shit like that, you're probably going to be fine. There you go. But yeah, it's is it optimal? No. Could you plug a keyboard and mouse into this thing and do it on the go? Yes, 100%. If you were maybe a little bit better at playing console games or like just controller-based games in general, you could probably do a heck of a lot. But the, uh, the gyroscopic system built into the Steam Deck definitely fights uh, your, your, your aimbot for sure. Because the slightest move and it, it fights exactly what you're doing. And it's not the greatest, but is it possible? Yes, 100%. Let's try to do something really quickly. Let's do in-game controls here. Let's try to turn off gyro. I just killed someone. I didn't mean to. None. It still feels weird. Gyro is now off. Can confirm. It still feels weird nonetheless. That got weird. Okay, well, we're just killing people we're not even looking at now. But that's already performing better with gyro off, which is kind of nuts. Uh, let's try to go and get this guy. Perfect. This is, uh, running surprisingly well. Yeah, as soon as we turned off gyro, shit just felt better. Boom. Okay, this is, this is insane. Look at this, by the way. So fast, the sensitivity. Come on. Yeah, there, there you go. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's weird, by the way. Look, when you hit left trigger, like... Just auto zooms no matter what. Okay, well, I just got myself killed. Either way, that, that's a that's a full game. That's also probably not something you thought you would ever see, especially on this device, which ultimately is crazy because, again, guys, and no, I wasn't clickbaiting. It's real. It's actually real. That's insane. If you guys want to know the two ways to do this, let me know with a comment down below, and I'll upload a video. I spent like $500 plus on this thing, so a like would be appreciated. This is literally all I wanted to do with it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later, bros. Peace. What?